Welcome to Watch Chat, where we chat about watches and other facts of life. Today, we're going to check out the famous f***ing rabbits watch by Frank Mueller. On the 10th of January 2023, Frank Mueller launched their new timepiece to herald the impending year of the rabbits. Thanks to Sincere Fine Watches, I was invited to check out their launch and the watch. Unfortunately, due to my busy schedule, I was only able to schedule in the last slot of the day. Hence, forgive me if the lighting ain't that great. I must say, Sincere Fine Watches really knows how to make their events exclusive and reverberant. The entire team revolves around the colour scheme of their new watch. They have even customised their Veto to match their theme. I was told that the Oolong tea gives a refreshing relish. Hence, between the latte and the Oolong tea, I chose the latter. My first impression of this watch is, meh, this is just another Vanguard. So, what's so special about it? Well, to be fair and entirely honest, I've never really considered much about the brand or took the time to understand the Vanguard collection. However, the more I look into this watch and the design queue, the more I appreciate it. The devil's is always in the detail. The Vanguard collection exuberates a sportier luckless case design that curves around the wrist comfortably. According to FM, the tunnel case of this watch, for the very first time, uses a carbon case that is infused with fiberglass. It's compressed and cooked together at 150 degrees for 3 hours into a single block, and then carved out into a one-piece case. Hence, the case has a texturized look and feel with a very nice sheen on it. The case is measured at 41mm across, 49.95mm in length, and 12.2mm tall. The crown is engraved with the FM logo, however I do not think it is made out of carbon and fiberglass composite. Mmm, nice. Another unique feature of this watch is, for the very first time, Frank Miller uses a integrated white nylon strap with velcro and leather on the underside to give it a very hippie look, which matches the pop culture collaboration with hashtag FR2. In case you didn't know, hashtag FR2 is a Tokyo streetwear brand founded by Guru Royo Ishikawa. FR2 is simply short for two f***ing rabbits. The workhorse underneath the closed case back here is the in-house automatic FM800-DT caliber, which has 28,800 BPH and 42 hours of power reserve. The watch has 30 meters of water resistance. Underneath the curved sapphire crystal is a curved matte white dial contrasting with applied glossy black PVD finish indices, hands, and motif. The applique Vanguard numerals always reminds me of this, and I digress. The applied numerals here are fairly tall, which gives it a lot of depth. The aperture on the date is fairly deep as well. I like how the so-called white frame within the black frame window has some glittered surface. I tend to find the huge indices on the Vanguard collection to be a little polarizing and it tends to clutter the dial for me. However, for some strange reason, the monochrome scheme here seems to work for me. Perhaps it also has to do with the elephant in the room. By elephant, I mean bunnies. Nope, not those bunnies, these ones. The iconoclastic rabbit's motif is FR2's signature icon replacing the 7 and 8 o'clock markers. The entire provocative, yet subtle, rabbit designs are loom, like the skeletonized hands and small pips running around the numerals. To read the 7 and 8 hour, one can use the head of the rabbit to indicate 7 and 8. We all know there are two ways to adjust the date instant rotation or changing it by adjusting the minute hand. When you rotate the minute hand, 
the date begins to tilt at 11.50pm and then snap at 12 midnight. The FR2 Frank Miller is limited to 800 pieces worldwide and is made available in Australia and Southeast Asia at the prices you see below. I must admit that this is a pretty good looking watch. The Vanguard is all about the convex. The convex crystal, the convex dial, even the hand's numerical markers and bunnies are all perfectly aligned and placed following the curvature. The monochrome scheme and the integrated nylon strap just seems to work for me. The non-zodiac, yet zodiac looking watch allows the wearer to wear it for any occasion. This is indeed a stunning and sporty looking timepiece. What about you? What do you think of this watch? Do you think the bunnies are a little bit too much? Or do you think it's just another gimmick? Let us know in the comments below. Anyway, if you like this kind of video, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification icon to support me and I'll really appreciate it and promise to make more videos like this. Until the next one, thank you for watching.